back to the happy heart. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see this clean with me and how to make your house smell amazing. It just seems like fall gets here and we just want our homes to smell so good from here to the end of the year. And so I was super excited to do this video. I'd been looking forward to doing it for a long time and everything collided really well that I could collab with one of my favorite YouTubers. Her name is Christy. She is from the Has Family channel. And I will link all her information down below. She is a lifestyle cleaning and decorating channel and she has the cutest decorations for fall. Oh my gosh, you guys have to go check her out. That was like hands down one of my favorite videos. But she also does these really cute videos and oh my goodness, her videos of her um, doing pumpkins with her kids and stuff have been some of my favorite lately. So go over there, show her some love, check her out. And she is also doing a clean with me and how to make your home smell amazing. So I know that she's gonna have some really good tips and tricks as well. Send her some love, tell her I sent you. And I am just over the moon so thankful that you collabed with me, Christy, because um, this has just been a video I've been wanting to do for a long time. Without further ado, I'm going to get to the cleaning and get my home smelling awesome. So on this particular day, my husband had been home from work and I told him about shooting this video and that I had plans and he offered to do the dishes. So by all means, I was not going to say no. I never turn down help regardless of what it is. And I just thought this was very nice of him to offer, um, especially because he knew it was going to be videoed and everything like that. But while he did the dishes, I kind of went around and picked up all the trash. I tried to pick up everything else besides the dishes and get kind of that stuff done, along with um, talking to him and things like that. But he actually had music on pretty loud while this was going on. And it really wasn't my favorite music, but I was not going to say anything because he was doing the dishes. Also, if you guys don't know, I kind of have this phobia about getting wet. I don't like to get like splashed. I don't like when water splashes on me. And my husband knows this. So when he's in town, a lot of times he offers to do the dishes. Because of this, I always feel like I get wet every time I do the dishes. I don't know what it is. It's probably the setting of like how I have the water, but I always feel like I get wet and on this particular day, I had to go to church tonight. I was kind of ready for that already and it was really nice that um, he offered to kind of take one for the team because he knows I just hate getting wet and inevitably like, you know, I always get wet when I'm doing the dishes. So. The other thing is, I feel like he does a really good job at the stuff that is hand washed, and he takes a lot of time to hand wash stuff um, that you wouldn't put into the dishwasher. Where uh, me, like I feel like I do good at it, but I am not the best scrubber. Um, if things sit for a long time, I literally just put more soap and let them sit. I don't sit there and scrub it. And he will get in there and scrub stuff off and do things like that, um, which I really, really appreciate. So on this particular day, he actually did a lot of um, hand washing, you'll see at the end. And then later on in the video, um, I'll come through and put it all away this evening. So, you know, it's just kind of how it works for that day. And this is normally uh, how it goes in my house.
happened to be that I got a package while my husband was doing the dishes and it was one of these Woodwick candles. They are a candle from Yankee Candle and actually I've been looking at them at Cracker Barrel but one of the girls in the youth group had been selling them for a fundraiser so I was super excited. This scent is called Coastal Sunset and oh my gosh y'all it smells so good and when in doubt a candle um, can always make me feel better. Um, it's just something about like the calming scent when you walk into a room and it smells good it just makes you feel so much better. So usually when I'm doing something I try to light a candle. Um, I try to keep them around my house just in general and it's just an easy way to make your house smell good and I know that's just kind of a everybody knows this kind of a tip but I like trying new ones and I wanted to try tell you guys about these Woodwick candles. Um, I actually ended up putting it in my room and doing some work literally right next to it because it smelled so good and I feel like when you just find scents that really speak to you or really just make you um, happy, those are the scents that you need to surround your home with. smell great the biggest thing I can say is if you're using any type of cleaning products make sure it's a cleaning product that smells good there is nothing that smells better than when you can walk into a room and know it's clean because you can smell the cleaning products um, it's kind of this illusion too when you have guests or people over when people can walk into a room and it smells good or it smells like cleaning products and they know your house is clean and they don't have to look around they don't even notice that if it really isn't clean 
And so find cleaning products that you love. I have been loving this Mrs. Meyers Honeysuckle. OMG, y'all, it's so good. And I actually bought a refill for it because I loved it so much. So find ones that you really like and you're guaranteed to make your home smell wonderful. This is a trick that I saw on, I want to say, The Crazy Life. And Amanda, she will take some essential oils, drop them into her sink, and then she'll run some hot water. And I had never done this before until I saw her do it. And oh, you guys, it really works. It really makes your home smell nice. I usually use lemon because then if there's any odor in the sink, it takes away that as well. And it has just been an easy thing that has been making my home smell wonderful. This next thing is something that I thought was really unique. You just take a little bit of water, put a few drops of essential oil in it, and then you end up spraying just a tiny bit on your air filter and then put your air filter up like normal. And y'all, it really makes the air cleaner. I've only ever used lemon, so I haven't used a really strong essential oil scent or anything like that, but I feel like just the air in my home is just so much cleaner because of this. And oh, you guys, I never thought this would be something that I really liked, but I saw it somewhere on YouTube and I thought, you know what, this is great, I need to do this. And make sure that you're changing your air filters um, when you're supposed to be and make sure that the rack is clean and all of that really goes into making your home smell good as well. using my Norwax cloths. I love cleaning with just water, but sometimes you feel like there's something on your surface um, that needs that little extra oomph, or you really just want your home to smell good. On this particular day, I felt like my table had like just this thick layer of sugar scrub from this um, sleepover that I had with a bunch of the youth girls and they had done spa treatments all around my table and they loved the sugar scrub and you can tell because it got all over my table. So on this particular day, I really wanted um, not only my home to smell good, but I wanted to use that extra product on this wood and I love this Daily Method um, wood cleaner. It smells like almond and I wasn't 100% sure of that when I got the recommendation here on YouTube from um, one of my subscribers, but I really do like it and I feel like it conditions the wood really well. Um, this is one of those products that I just love. Whenever I use it, I'm like, why don't I use this all the time? So um, if you haven't tried it, go ahead and try it. Smell it in the store before you buy it. Make sure you like the scent. But on this particular day, it did an awesome job getting that sugar scrub off my table and just making my dining room smell amazing.
people usually spray their furniture with some kind of linen spray and things like that. I have never personally really liked that. I know that um, lots of people do, but the thing that I found that works really well for me is that I'll usually turn my ceiling fan on and I will spray some room spray kind of up into the fan and I feel like that kind of gets all over the room. I know it does fall a little bit on your furniture, but I just never like the idea of spraying your furniture with stuff. This next thing I'm doing is making my own carpet deodorizer. I just took baking soda that was in my refrigerator for deodorizing my refrigerator put some essential oils in it, uh, mix it up, and you'll see me kind of sprinkle it on the carpet. Uh, this week I am putting it on my son's carpet. Usually leave it for just a, you know, a few minutes, 15, 20 minutes, and then I come back and vacuum it up. And I usually kind of pick a room every week and do this just um, so the carpets stay fresh, so it makes everything smell good. Um, I love doing this in my son's room, especially because, you know, just with him, like, you never know, um, you know, if he's left a sock or things like that, and I always want to make sure that his room smells good because inevitably when people come over to my house, um, adults or little kids, everybody wants to see his room, and they'll be like, oh, show me your room, so I never want anybody to come over and, uh, find an odor that they do not want to smell. So this is just a little trick that I do to make sure that doesn't happen. particular guest bathroom uh, probably just a few days ago um, but one of the girls got sick at the slumber party that I had so I really wanted to go in and just wipe all the surfaces down before it was my day to really deep clean it so um, I really wiped um, my toilet down really well went ahead and cleaned the inside of it because um, she had told me that she had got sick in the middle of the night and I wanted to make sure I got all of that cleaned up as well. But you will see that um, I start doing uh, just a few little tips and tricks in here as well. And one of them is that I put a few drops of essential oil in the toilet paper roll. And that way, every time you pull on it, you get that little um, air of essential oils that kind of um, activates that and literally I'm just keep using lemon all over my house because it's so fresh and um, that's just the one I grabbed today. The other thing that I do is usually after my son takes a shower I spray this daily shower into the shower and I um, just love the way it smells. And it's such an easy way to keep your shower clean in between. I honestly hate cleaning bathtubs and showers. And 
usually I make deals with my husband about cleaning them because I hate it so much. So if my husband's going out of town, I'm like, please clean the showers and the bathtubs before you go. Or as soon as he gets back, I'm like, okay, I really need this done. So that's just one of those things in my house at least that I hate doing. And that daily shower cleaner has really helped um, minimize the work on that. And it also just makes the bathroom smell awesome. So it's kind of like two birds, one stone, and I have just been loving it. to make sure things keep smelling fresh and nice is I always keep um, baking soda in my refrigerator. You can get um, boxes of baking soda that you can pull the sides off and it actually um, gives like a deodorizing effect to your refrigerator and your freezer. You can even write the date on there and you're supposed to change it every 30 days. I've been slacking a little bit about writing the dates but it's been something that I've done since my child was little and it really does help keep your refrigerator fresh. This particular candle is my all-time favorite candle from Walmart. I think it just came out, I want to say like a month or two ago. Um, that was the first time that I've seen it. It's called Cozy Comfort and they did not ever have any white candles that I thought smelled good but this one smells so good it really does smell cozy and I usually keep them in um, either just out of my counter when I'm doing things and then I'll put them away when I leave the room or I'll kind of tuck them behind um, you know a pitcher or something because it really um, smells good in the room and it being white is such a good neutral so if you haven't seen those at Walmart they're just by the mainstay candles I want to say the three wicked ones are like three dollars they're not very much and they smell amazing
have loved using a steam mop on all of my floors for years and years and years. And I actually saw that Amanda at the Crazy Life um, puts a few drops of essential oils on her mop head. And then she mops. And let me tell you guys, it gives your kitchen such a fresh scent. Um, I, the scent I was using today was lemon. And oh my gosh, it really, really works. Uh, my husband anytime I do it I don't do it every time but anytime I do it like he'll come in and be like oh you did that thing again you know he can really smell it I don't really honestly think it's that strong but I think because it's a steam mop and that steam mixed with the essential oil um, it doesn't do anything to make the floor slick or anything like that it really just smells up the room and kind of gives it this freshness. for coming over and watching this clean with me and how to make your home smell amazing. I hope some of these tips and tricks really helped you. I really tried to give um, some tips and tricks that weren't just the normal like, hey, light a candle type of thing because we all uh, know those type of things. But I wanted to give you guys some unique ways to make your home smell good and I hope that this really helped you. Don't forget to go over and check out Christy's channel. I will leave her channel link and her video down below and send her some love. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you don't miss anything. I usually upload cleaning videos on Sunday and Wednesday for sure, so be on the lookout for those, and I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Bye for now.